Alright, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Bananaman99 here coming at you with another video and today I will be breaking down my thoughts on the New York Giants 2018 draft class. But before I start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for if you enjoy content like this and drop a like on the video as well. So the Giants I think had easily one of the top five best drafts by any team. They picked value where, you know, they picked a guy in the fourth round who should have gone in the second, blah, 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 so on and so forth. So I will get started. Um, the first pick was number two overall, and that was Saquon Barkley, the running back from Penn State. Now, Baker Mayfield won number one overall. I wanted Sam Darnold, but ultimately the Giants took a position of need they've had for many, many years. And I'm giving this an A+. I mean, the kid is unbelievable. He's athletic, elusive, fast, ran a 440 in the 40-yard dash, he can hurdle, he can catch, pick up a blitz, block, and of course, run, you know. So, I'm giving this one an A+. Plus. I think it was a great choice. Um, so, I think the Giants did very well with this pick. Now, moving on to their second pick they made, which was the 34th overall in the second round. They selected the offensive guard, Will Hernandez, from the University of Texas, El Paso. I'm giving this one an A-plus as well. He's a big, big boy. I'm going to call him. He's a big boy. He's very durable. Started 49 games all at left guard. More importantly, it shores up that left side of the line. You know, Giants let Justin Pugh go in free agency. They needed to fill that spot, and they did with Will Hernandez. And now that even gives more provision for Saquon Barkley to run on that left side, knowing he's got a great guard and great tackle um, blocking for him. So I give, and he's also very strong. He doesn't like people, as they were saying. The analysts were saying he doesn't like people. He's always going to play hard. I actually love this pick. And this is the guy that I wanted as well. So they made me happy. So moving on to their next selection. It was 66 overall in the third round. They took outside linebacker Lorenzo Carter from Georgia. Now they actually tried to trade up for Carter because they really loved them and wanted them. Ultimately, they didn't need to. I'm going to give this a B plus because of the upside. He's 6'5", 250, somewhere around there. He's a big kid. Um, he can rush the passer. We do need pass rushers, especially from the linebacker spot. Um, he's athletic, but if he could just shore up in coverage, he will be a very good Player. That's why I'm going with a B plus with upside for Mr. Lorenzo Carter, as he will help the front seven. So moving on to their next pick, which was three spots later, number 69 overall. They took B.J. Hill, the nose tackle from NC State. Um, I'm going to give this a B minus. Just because I think they should have addressed the offensive line personally. They should have addressed the offensive line with this pick. Maybe a guy like Tyrell Crosby who really did slip, which really surprised me. Um, but his upside, very productive, good, good in the run, like stopping the run. He was very good at that. Um... He will be paired. Probably he'll rotate with Dalvin Tomlinson and Damon Harrison. Um, but when him and Harrison are on the field at the same time, teams aren't going to be able to run the ball up the gut because two big boys, again, they're big boys um, in the middle there. And he adds depth, which is always good. Yeah. 
has he's played he played in college as a nose tackle, but I could see the Giants moving him to end in that three four defense. Um so I mean Todd McShay had this guy as a second round pick as well as Lorenzo Carter, so they got more value there. Will Hernandez was a projected to go in the first round. I'm surprised that Seattle didn't take him. Um, but, yeah, moving on to the next pick in round four, number 108 overall. They took the quarterback from Richmond, Kyle Lauletta. The first Richmond Spider quarterback to get drafted since 1975. Um, again, I'm going to give this an A-, minus, and here's why. He's not going to start right away, but he's very polished. He's very accurate. Um, his arm strength is a little questionable, but he's accurate. Had a 65% com percent completed passes this year. Um, he, he's a little mobile. And, of course, it adds depth there and gives competition to Davis Webb. Um, it's, I saw his comparison to Jimmy Garoppolo, which is obviously a good one. Um, he, you know, needs to improve that arm strength, but he's got better tools than Davis Webb has. He's got pocket presence, and that's why I think the Giants took him with this pick. Also, he was predicted to go in the second round, so again, another guy they get in the fourth round, another guy they get after they were projected, after the round they were projected to go in. And, you know, maybe the new leadership doesn't like Davis Webb, and that's why they wanted to take their quarterback. I can completely understand that. Um, so I, I totally understand that. Um, he could wind up being a giant starter in four to five years. And moving on to their last pick in round five, the second pick in round five, 139th overall, they took R.J. McIntosh, the D lineman, from Miami. Um, Todd McShay has this, had this guy as a third round draft pick, so again, another value pick here by the Giants. Um, he can get up field and provide some interior pass rush, which is always important. And last year he had 12 and a half tackles for loss. And again, it'll help with the defensive line rotation. So, he played nose tackle, he played defensive end. I could, I could see him starting maybe right away in, of course, the James Betcher 3-4 defense. Um, starting on that D-line, of course, they traded away Jason Pierre-Paul. For a second and third, I think, or a third and a fourth, is what they traded JPP away to Tampa Bay for. So, um, the Giants lacked interior pass pressure last year, and they're getting that with Mr. McIntosh. So, overall, I think I'm going to give this draft a solid A. I think they hit on all their picks. They got good value for where they were at, really. Um, they shored up the O-line with Will Hernandez. Of course, Omahi and Solder came in as free agents. Omahe, Omahi, Omahe. I don't know how to say his name, but Omahi might be... Probably going to start at right guard this year. Um, of course, this offensive line is going to be very different. Um, they still do need a wide receiver, which is 
somewhere they probably should have gone, and of course a kicker. But overall, I'm giving this draft an A. The Barkley pick was great. Hernandez was great. Um, and yeah, guys. So um, thank you all so much for watching. If you disagree with my real grade on any picks, leave it down in the comment section down below. I'd love to have a debate with you guys. But as always, stay thirsty, my friends, and peace out. Take care.